Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for this video, I have found some pretty cool spooky stuff. I have found two 1950s Halloween costumes. I know, pretty cool. Now back in the day, you could either buy a costume or you can hand make it. And I found one of each. So let's go ahead and check it out. So the first costume is the store-bought costume, and this is a costume made by the company Ben Cooper, which pretty much dominated Halloween in the 1950s, along with Collegeville, and he made some pretty cool costumes. So here is a close-up of the costume. The costume is inspired by Little Abner. You can see here it says famous name. It is a masquerade costume, so that means it comes with a mask and then the outfit. Um, and here are all four corners of the box in case you want to see that. So this is an adult size, so it should fit me. So we're gonna go ahead and open it up and try it on. All right, so here is the bodysuit. Here's a close-up of the design. It is a costume that is kind of like a onesie, but it has an open slit here for air and it ties up here. Oh my god, my lashes, oh, ow, my lashes, oh, I do not approve, this is ins insanely uncomfortable, my eyes don't fit the holes, but it's still kind of a look, so I'm not entirely mad about it, but this is what the mask looks like on, um, again, I don't think the eye holes are like aligned well, but other than that, I love the paint job on it. It's pretty lightweight. It fits really well on the nose so I can breathe. And yeah, now I'm little Abner. Little Abner, little Abner, every gal in town is after little Abner. So here is the next costume. I've already tried this on, it was just so tempting. And this was handmade in the 1950s. And it just has a bunch of Halloween patterns and it's supposed to be a like Halloween clown outfit. Here's that, I'm gonna try it on. And it comes with this little thing, which is a look, oh, feeling myself with this, Vogue. What do you want? Me? I know. Okay. So, let me get my Vogue necklace on. Here we go. <gasps> wow. I feel really huge. I feel like, mmm, Nightmare Before Christmas Queen. Like an Elizabethan clown. Halloween Queen. I'm feeling it. So, the whole costume is just a big onesie. Let me show you my feet. Boop, boop. So here is the pattern in case you wanna see a closer look. There's just a bunch of stars. Then there's this really cool fabric. Very kitschy. And then the other fabric on this costume is this, which is a bunch of little ghosts chasing a cat. Let me put this thing back together. Put the thing back where I came from, or so help me. Now, out of the costumes themselves, I think this one is way more cool, way more comfortable, way more Halloween aesthetic. And I would totally wear this for like a Halloween party or like a Halloween sleepover. So I think I would find use of this one way more. But the product itself, I think this one wins just because it's way cool in the packaging. I love the packaging so much, as you can tell. And it shows the history a lot better than this. So. I don't know, it's kind of tied in its own strange way. And if you guys want more vintage find videos like this, make sure you subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you know when I post. And I'll see you guys in my next video.